What's going on, folks? It's Strap Life DJ. Welcome to another video. I hope you're living a good life and buying up all the guns. All right, so today I'm going to do a gun review. So a couple weeks ago, I dropped my 2021 gun collection video, and I got a lot of love. And one of my guns in particular got a lot of attention. So today, I'm going to be doing a review on that gun. All right, and that gun is... My Springfield Armory St. Victor, the Demon. I call this gun the Demon. Y'all, uh, y'all boys, get y'all guns of female names. Not me. It's the Demon right here. So it's uh, you know, I got the red and black theme going on. It's uh, this mug is loud and it spit out a hell of a fireball. That's why I call it the Demon. It's fitting. So I got this gun from Palmetto State Armory. Um, it's a seven and a half inch um, uh, AR-15 pistol with a one and seven twists, and this uh, and this is my baby right here. This gun is my baby. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start from the back to the front. Um, this is a SBA three tactical brace. This uh, comes stock on this gun. I didn't change this out or anything. By the way, before we go any further, let's go ahead and make sure this is clear. Mag empty. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock that back. That's empty. Nothing in here. Uh, like I said, I got this from a Palmetto State Armory. Um, this is a great gun. I got this for about 1200 bucks. I had been looking for this for a while when I finally, uh, when I finally seen it, I didn't hesitate to, uh, you know, pull the trigger on it. So like I said, SBA three tactical brace and most of my parts that I got on this gun are for our, uh, strike industry. So I wanted to do everything strike industry and, um, that's pretty much what I did. So, I got the um, anodized red buffer tube. I got this from Wing Tactical. Uh, I think this ran me about 60 bucks, something like that. Um, I love that, I love that anodized red. I also got the anodized red uh, castle nut. This black part and the, the red part comes together. Um, so you don't have to buy, that's not two separate pieces. And I think this ran me about 50 bucks also. So I also got that from Wing Tactical. I got a, a sling on here, which I got from Amazon. Um, I think it was only about 20 bucks, you know, nothing crazy, nothing expensive. I got the uh, anodized red charging handle. I believe I got this from Primary Arms, I believe. Um, yeah, primary arms. I forgot how much it, it ran me, but this is also Strike Industries. It's nice. I got a uh, anodized red forward assist. I also got this from Wing Tactical. Um, let's see. I got the uh, the takedown pins front and back from Wing Tactical. Um, anodized red. I love them. Um, I got a uh, extended mag release. I got also got that from Wing Tactical. That's Strike Industries. Um, I got a anodized red trigger guard. This is the uh, I believe the Billet Fang trigger guard. I believe that ran about I want to say forty bucks. Um, not exactly sure. I can't remember, but I think it was around forty bucks for that. I got the I got some Tacticon. Iron sights. I got those from Primary Arms. Those are nice. They uh, co-witness with my my red dot. Uh, I got this red dot. Um, this is a AT3 Tactical red dot. I got that off Amazon. Or no, 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 no. I actually got this red dot from uh, AT3's website. I didn't get this from Amazon, so, yep. Um, all right, so I got this uh, 
This right here, I don't know if you can see this, this is called a uh, bad lever. You can also see it on this side, this thing right here. It goes through the trigger area. This is a bad lever. It's a, um, it's, uh, it's an assist. What it does is when you, okay, so let's say you get down to the last round, you shoot the last round, you're now empty. So, of course, your, uh, you know, your boat group is going to stay back. You go ahead and change max, and instead of, when you change max, slapping the side, like with most AR-15s that doesn't have this, what you do is you change max, and as soon as you put that mag in, you press, it, press this button. And that's going to charge another round and you're ready. As opposed to, you know, putting the mag in and having to press that. And it, it just, it, uh, it skips a step. That's all it does. So it's a little faster for you to get back on the draw. So I love that. I love this thing. Um, this gun has a flat face trigger. I believe this is nickel boron. Um, I'm like 90% sure. This is nickel boron, but I love this trigger. Um, this is the probably think the only gun I have with a flat face trigger, and I love that. I love that. Um, so got this. Uh, so this gun, of course, these P Max hold thirty rounds, but I got this base plate from Tearing Tactical, which is a plus five. So it just holds thirty five now with this hand. All right, let's see. I got a a light. This is the uh, Mighty um, Tactical Light. I got that off Amazon. I believe that was about 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Yeah, that's a great light. It zooms in. It comes with a, uh, a pressure pad. So, and I mounted mine right on top. So if I'm holding it like this, I can hit it with my thumb. I can either press the button and release, or I can click it and it'll stay on. And the light can also zoom in and zoom out. So I love that light. Um, this gun comes with a, uh, it's called a blast diverter on the front of here, which make the gun look, look damn cool. But it's supposed to just, Make sure, you know, everything goes forward instead of, you know, outward. Um, like I said, I, I love that. It just make the gun look cool. I got this, um, this foregrip or curved foregrip. Um, this is also Strike Industries. I got this straight off of their website. Uh, I believe that was like 40 bucks. So, I mean, you know, most of the stuff that I got on this gun, it really wasn't that expensive. Like I said, I paid like 1200 bucks for this gun, plus everything I added on, um, might've put me at about 14, 1500 for this gun. So yeah, I don't, I don't plan on really doing much else to this. Really? Uh, initially I was going to like get it Cerakoted, or maybe you put a wrap on it and all that, but now nah, I like it just like it, like how it is. It's, it's perfect right now. So this is really all I want to do to it. So, I mean, that's really it. You know, I highly suggest this, uh, this, uh, Springfield Armory St. Victor. This is a, this is a hell of a gun. This is a nice, nice AR-15 pistol. You know, like I said, it's loud though. So, like when I go to the range, you know, and I and, and I and I and this thing start talking, everybody comes down to my bay to see exactly what I'm shooting. So, yeah, just be mindful. This thing is loud, so I can't use this for home defense at all until I get a suppressor on here. I cannot use this for home defense. I have young kids. This will definitely blow their eardrums. I, I, I can't risk that. So, 
Yep, this is for right now. Um, this is strictly range and home defense if it comes down to it. So, yep, that's the demon. That's it, and that's all, really. Anything else? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this gun. Do you have it already? Let's see yours. You know, how do you, what, what all have you done to yours? Do you like this gun? I do. It's a hell of a gun. You know, like, subscribe, comment. We out of here. Peace.